Hi guys, Paul and Thomas here. Hello. Now we did a video probably a few weeks ago now. It was on the build of the Helix, the way we go about building it. it was probably more the way Impulse would like you to build it. We will do a follow-up follow -up video with some of the variations that we do with our build, but this is built as a true X, not as a squish. So uh, it's built a little bit different to the ones we fly, but for the most part, that's a stock Helix. So run through some of the gear that this guy's actually running. Okay, so we're running a standard Helix ZX-5 kit. Uh, we've got the F43 2600KV motors and the Icon 6S rated ESCs, the R30 amps. Um, SBOS link, so I'm now more used to Crossfire, but SBOS still works fine. And HS177. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking funny to, it's my retainers, so I just got them, so uh, yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> so he's speaking, well, he thinks he's speaking funny, but he sounds fine. Do I fine. sound normal? You That's sound... good. It's, I've had these for a couple of days. I've been really trying my best to speak normal and not punch a wall. I've been doing, I haven't punched a wall yet, <laughs> and I and I still, I'm getting the, the English out. That's it. So he's <laughs> anyway. struggling with it. It would actually be really good if we did this video yesterday, because you were talking really funny. No, it wouldn't have been good. It would have been great for you It guys. would have been great for everyone else. Not for me. No, for you. But that's all right. You're, you're here to provide entertainment. So, okay. As, have you covered everything on this quad? We haven't. Um, yeah, the only thing is um, just this kind of part that we've picked. Um, this is kind of what I go for with a lot of my setups. It's um, a really balanced setup. So you kind of, you got good low end handling, really good top end handling. You can just kind of do whatever you want with this. Um, Obviously, if you go like a lower KB, you get better cornering, high KB, better top end. But this is kind of a really nice middle ground where you can pretty much go and do whatever you want. Have you done the PIDs on this guy? Um, no. It looks like we've just thrown on my old PIDs for okay. my other quads. So, so my might... other ones are other quads are squished. This is a true X, so I might need a retune. Um, I think with the new beta flight, it'll probably be pretty close. Um, these props too, they seem to be really forgiving with your tune. Um, so. It should be pretty close. It's got my rates on it already, so I won't have to adapt to that. But um, I mean, going squish to Truex and then crossfire to Esbos, that'll be the uh, name of the game today, and we'll uh, see how we go. Now, as far as the maiden goes, uh, we were going to do a conventional maiden, which is fly around trees and all that sort of stuff. What people mostly do and, and give you feedback on the quad, but we've been flying this a, quite some time. So hence, I don't think that would have been any much point in doing that, because everyone knows we already like this frame. Yeah. So you had an idea as far as a maiden goes. Yeah, so pretty much we've set up UTT1. Uh, it's a track that's relatively easy for people to set up, so you can kind of try it out for yourself. Um, and it's kind of... A lot of people have a good idea of where their setups kind of sit there. So um, we just thought, why not? I mean, it's something I'm not used to with this being Truex and s -Bus, but I mean, you know, we'll just... See how it goes. I mean, it'll give you a ballpark irrespective of where it sort of sits. And obviously, pilot's going to have some um, implication there in terms of uh, how well you do with it. It doesn't mean just because Thomas does a good time, someone else is going to do a good time. And for the same token, it doesn't really mean you're going to go smashing records or anything like that, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's a unique, uh, UTT1's unique track where you've got the big straights that are really, really big, but you also got hairpin corners. So um, it is, I think, you need to try and find that balance to uh, get the most out of UTT1. Um, so, yeah. so what we'll do, we'll do a, we'll shoot some footage, uh, get some footage of the initial maiden, um, and then we'll try and do a few fast runs and see exactly how you go. Yeah. Let's make this happen. And what we're going to do is get the young man to run through exactly what it is that he's doing. Who's the young man, guys? Thank you so about this young man. I don't know who they are. I want to meet them one day, though. Welcome to. They, are they cool persons? Are they a cool young man? <laughs> okay, so first up, don't put your hands in the props. Do that. Just no, don't do that. Plug it in. Yeah, put it down away from us. Radio's already on, by the way, so it's bound and ready. And what we're gonna do is first just make sure everything's going the right way um, before we actually go into FPV, so. Okay, so what we just did was we made sure that all our throws were going the right direction, our props were on right. Um, if they weren't, then it would have just flipped and gone crazy, so we'd hit the disarm switch. But so far that's all checked out, so now we'll actually hover it, make sure in the air it's okay. Then we'll go to FPB.
8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I will say before, on the hover it did feel a little loose, so I think the pids are a little too soft for this quad, but we'll see how it goes. So we're just trying to get used to the quad, get used to S-Bus, and get used to the track. It's taking it real easy while we figure out how to adapt to this. So yeah, still not used to S bus and its latency. Got a bit of vibrations. Ten, nine, what eight, was that? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Timer one elapsed. So I'll have to do a bit of tuning work, so I'll probably take a break from the track for a bit to tune. Do that now. Okay, so, so that's in base times. 12.49 was your uh, last time. Yeah, not too bad. It's got a bit of vibration. It's like it could be D-wobble. It's watching pretty tight. Could be just a true X. I think they got some wobbles. Okay, we'll switch batteries. And I'll start tuning this guy up. Okay, so what we've done is we've um, switched over to D-Shot now. And um, we've turned filters and stuff on. And so right now it's running pretty good. So had a couple practice runs, so we'll uh, see how we go. Yeah. Start in 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What was that one? What was it? That was an 8.96. Oh damn, I think that's a record. Seven, nice. Six, what, was he, what was the five, fastest time at the moment? Four, I'm pretty three, sure it was a 9. Two, one. 9? Yeah. Do you know what 9 it was? Low 9, mid 9 or anything? Not sure. Oh no, it was that really low. I think it was like almost 9 flat. Okay. So we know it's um, on par with a fast quad. Yeah. That feels pretty good. That was an S boss. And I had stupid retainers in my mouth, but I did it. Damn. So yeah. It went pretty well. I mean considering, you know, it's true X and all that. Yeah. Let's bring her in. Okay, so bottle. <laughs> okay, so we did just set, it was an 8.9? I think so. 8.9 something. Anyway, so yeah, that's a record, which is um pretty crazy, considering, you know, it's a new quad. Um, I mean, you know, for its first few runs, it's um doing pretty well, so pretty happy. Yeah, so it's kind of um 
I guess my theoretical balance set up and yeah, it did its job. So there you go. It's the helix.